Hey guys, what's up? Today we are up at the Dollar Tree. We got a scoop. We got a private message that said that they may be putting out Black Friday DVDs early. So we're going to check out ours. And Thank you. That's where they had the movies the last time. Oh. Man, they're still there. It looks like a bigger stack. Yeah. Let's look and see what they got. Move all these hats. <laughs> Let's just move some stuff. Start here. Crow, life giver, life taker. Might need that. Is that the spirit because they come? It says. Santa Cup Champions, Littlest Pet Shop. If you speak up a little, it's hard to hear you. Said. Devoured Tormenty, Evil Eyes Within. Is that a maybe for you? Maybe. Kind of spooky looking. Yeah. You better not watch that tonight. See, there's two new things already. City yeah, of I think Sun. these might be some of the Black Friday movies. I'm not sure. Somebody let us know. Yeah, because some of these look old and familiar like that. But I'm seeing a few new things, too. Do you already look it up, bro? I'm about to. I'm just trying to uh, organize this mess a little bit. It is. Insomniac. Ronaldo. See, these are like old ones learning to drive. Get in your lane. That, what is that? That's got the dude from Kiss of the Damned. I think we have that. Yeah, we haven't watched it yet. Raging Phoenix. American Russell. I've seen that a million times. Baby, baby, baby. Citizen Soldier. That's old. Cults. Sugar Ray. Signal. There's a killer cut. Have that. Tencent pistol, crazy love, Che. Pistol. Beneath the leaves. Severance. It's a soldier, another blade runner. Well, they definitely got something in because this pile wasn't as big the last time. And no. I don't remember seeing the crow. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that. Seeing a, that's like a mix. Some of their old stuff. Some new stuff. Charlie Angels. Is that really Charlie's Angels? No, it's like a... Oh, okay. Knockoff. <laughs> Doctor Who. Oh, that's different. Series. I might need eight, that. Eight, part one. A whole series? A series. Eight. Huh. Well, I guess. What's that? Ghost Hunter. Ooh, nice slip cover. Yeah. This new stuff. Donnie Brook. Never seen that. Dog lovers. lovers. Mercury Man. He knows no fear. If anything, I'm. Oh, oh, oh. oh don't fall. fall <laughs> the Bronx <laughs> Pool. What was that? You just passed it really quick. What is that about? Here, put it in the maybes. Yeah, I like got... him. Final year of Obama, six magical tears, tales, excuse me. I thought I had enough of political stuff this year. You got that right. I don't need any political movies. Demon Warrior. Baby Genius. <laughs> okay, million dollar dog. All right. Christmas movie. Well, at least we're leaving it nicer than we found it. Yeah, I'm just going to move a bunch of these out right now. <laughs> See, there we go. Surf wise, the football the program, Mississippi murder. Two of those. Citizen soldier. Oh, I wonder if they got another Beyond the Gates. Oh, that would be I'd cool. Like to find that. Yeah, that's one from the last drop you didn't find. Severance, Utopia, the gangster. P Diddy, Bad Boys of Comedy. Demon Warrior, the Evangelist. Pet Shop football. Shockwave. Family of Lies. The Boy. Must be anything live. New World. Diana. Coming home for Christmas. City of Sin. All we had. What's all we had? Oh. Will you hand me all we had? Yeah, we'll look at that. 
Doctor Who Series 8 Part 2. If you got Series 8 Part 1, you need oh, Part 2. Oh, <laughs> drop them. Choke slam. What's that? I don't know, I see Mick Foley. Do you want to let in a maybe? Yeah, it'll be a maybe. I don't know, it's probably pretty bad, but... <laughs> Yeah. Great world of sound. You, you know you're gonna get look at that. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, looks like a regular movie. Yeah. <laughs> it, that was a cool title. Age of Heroes, the League of Ordinary Gentlemen. No, we're down to the bottom here. Toolbox Murders Part Two. Bruce Dern. Football. De defective. Kids movies there. Innocence. Her blood is their fountain of youth. Wind. Demons of the Prairie. Huh. The bad fans of the Babadook and the Witcher are like are gonna fall under this picture's cold spell. Can... It's got a nice slipcover. Yeah, maybe. It's a maybe. Alright, let's look at our maybes and see if there's any other DVDs hidden in here. Yeah, we're gonna take a walk through and yeah. see what we can find. If there's any more hidden DVDs. Probably narrow these down a little bit. Yeah, let's go down this aisle. Because they usually, well, there's no more movies down here. I say they usually put more down here, but. Yeah. All right, let's. Walk through, check some end caps, because that's supposedly where they were going to be. Yep, and let's, let's narrow these down real quick. Okay, so we walked out with a few movies. Well, more than a few. We got like eight. We don't know if this is part of the Black Friday deal or they just, these are random new DVDs. Well, they're, they're new for us. They're new to us. That's all I know. We haven't been up here in a while because they hadn't got anything. But thanks to the person time. on Instagram that sent us a DM about them putting out some of their stuff now. So definitely. We wouldn't even that. have been up here today. With that said, let's see what we scored. Crow, Life Giver and Life Taker. It's got uh, that dude, which you tell me is from Game of Thrones. Yep. I Crow. think. Crow is protector of the wood. He's lived there since ruthless, since ruthless developer Tucker brutally moved on him and his tribe from the nearby farmstead. Now Tucker wants the wood too, intent on building a mansion, an ego extension of his dynastic ambition for him and his trophy wife Alicia. Crow will defend it with his life. The battle begins, but Tucker doesn't realize that he must con contend with a boy who has the power of nature behind him. Fancy. Cool. Uh, All We Had, based on the critically acclaimed novel by Anne Weatherwax, starring Katie Holmes. Uh, I have no idea what this I, is. I don't really like Tom Cruise. In fact, I kind of despise him. Yeah, it has your boy Luke Wilson, too. Oh, no! <laughs> Shoot. But I, I hate Tom Cruise because he's just a bad actor. Yeah. And I like her now because she got away from him, so... Okay, well, Katie Holmes made her directorial debut with this uh, coming-of-age drama. That sounds like something I probably won't be watching. <laughs> At least you're honest. I'm honest. We got uh, Doctor Who, Series 8 Part 1, Series 8 Part 2. Each one has like one, two, two, four, six episodes. I wonder how many parts there are. Of course, there are so many Doctor Who's over the years. I remember fondly as a kid watch my grandpa watching those Doctor Who's. Man, they were the best in the 70s. But, you know, I'm kind of stoked on those. Uh, Ghost Hunter, this nice little slipcover. Uh, takes us fraud to spot a fake. Consider the dilemma of Harry Price, the complex, real-life psychic researcher famous for exposing the tricks of his fraudulent spiritualists in London after World War I. When tricksters preyed on grieving families. He's infamous too for a few long ago frauds of his own. After a seance goes tragically awry, Henry vows to play it straight until a distraught, socially prominent woman asks him to rid her home of ghosts. Will he tell her the hard truth about the psychological source of her fear or comfort her with lies she wants to hear? Ooh, a chilling and engaging true story. Something I won't be watching while you're on nights. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. Um. Andron, starring, uh, what's his name? Totally the bald one. The bald one. There you go. Uh, in the year 2154... It's so bright back there. Everything's like... A group of young men and women awake in a dark, claustrophobic maze. They don't remember who they are or how they got stuck in the black labyrinth of Andron. The group must learn to decipher codes, understand the signals, and beat the test in this mysterious and bizarre place. Out of necessity, they struggle 
for, to form a bond to survive while the outside world watches and wagers on their fate. Sounds kind of similar to the cube. Slash to me. hunker games. Slash hunker games. You got the hunker games, <laughs> people watching them, and then the cube. This one's called Choke Slam. It's probably pretty bad. I don't know why we got it, but it ha other than it's got. Does it have Arquette in it? It's got Mick Foley. No, there's no Arquette. It has a uh, Chris Marquette, whoever he is. So it's got Mick Foley. Uh, it was a dollar. Corey, a mild mannered deli clerk, finally gets a second chance to pursue his high school sweetheart, who is now the notorious professional wrestler Smashina, <laughs> when she <laughs> returns for their 10 year school reunion. Features an all-star cast, starring a bunch of people I don't know, along with Mick Foley. Uh, hilarious romantic comedy that proves love is tough to pin down. I still have that DM Mick Foley sent me on Twitter saved. Yeah. Because we went to a lot of NXT shows around here, and a vegan named Wayne wrote about it. If you guys want to read his old blog, it's called Mason's Ringside View. And Mick Foley DM'd me and asked me about a certain show we went to, if it was any good, I about fell over. Yeah, he's awesome. I like the Micker. And I also think I'm going to like this next movie. The Wind, Demons on the Prairie. Uh, it says fans of the Babadook and the Witch are likely going to fall under this picture's cold spell. Loneliness can make you lose your mind. It's an IFC Midnight release. An unseen evil terrorizes... An isolated homestead in this chilling tale of madness, paranoia, and otherworldly horror. Lizzie is a tough, resourceful frontiers woman settling on a remote stretch of land in the 19th century American frontier. Far from civilization in a desolate wilderness where the wind never stops howling, she begins to sense a sinister presence that seems to be born of the land itself. An overwhelming presence that her husband dismisses as mere superstition. When a newlywed couple arrives on a nearby homestead, their presence amplifies her fears, settling into motion a shocking chain of events. Masterfully blending haunting visuals with a pulse-pounding sound design. I like that. Director Emmy, Emmy, Emma, Tammy <laughs> evokes a godforsaken world in which the forces of nature come alive with quivering menace. That sounds intriguing it to does. me. It does. So this weekend when you're done with this horrible night shift yes you want to go to the other Dade city the other Dade city Dade city bartow and stuff to, to look i think we have a plan for the weekend yep what do you think you'll like the most out of this one? Ah, uh, i'm thinking the uh probably the one we just read the wind mm -hmm. sounds kind of intriguing and um Probably as much as cheesy as that one looked, and I didn't want to get it at first. I passed right by it. Just, it's, I like the cube. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of like the cube. But we'll see. Yep. I think I'm looking forward to the haunting one and then Doctor Who's. Yes, the Doctor Who's. I'm kind of stoked mm -hmm. on those two. No haunting movie for you tonight. Mm -mm. You don't have to tell me twice. All right. Thanks again for the the person on Instagram who gave us a heads up. Definitely. And we hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give us a like. Thumbs up. Subscribe once we get to 200. Bell. Almost there, people. We might already be at 200. By the time you see this video. But when we get to 200, we're going to do a giveaway. So you want to be subscribed. Please. So yeah, please. thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.